Hey guys, we got news the other day, um, this important notice news about the big patch coming on September 1st. Uh, among other things in the patch, one of the things they're going to be doing is shutting down the Chamber of Arms. Uh, it says temporarily, but the patch, th this patch in the Japanese server was like five months ago, and Chamber of Arms is still shut down and not available. So, as far as we know, um, it, could, it could never open again. We don't know. It's been months and months. It is still not reopened. So, in this video, we're going to go and clear the Chamber of Arms bosses. Um, we're going to do all of them. So, this might be a little bit of a longer video. Uh, if you want, I, I'm going to put timestamps to each boss. So, you can skip boss to boss if you don't care about hearing me just yap the entire time. But, yeah, we're going to go to the Chamber of Arms. And we're going to kill all of them showing an updated quick and easy way to kill them. Now this is not really going to be like a show off or a flashy video. You know, I, I thought about it and I kind of make it more interesting. Maybe I'll bring like, you know, a four star team or a three star team. But for people that are just looking for just a quick way to get these these clears done before they're closed, you, 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 want, you want the easiest and the quickest way. You don't, you don't want the interesting way. So we're going to just go for a boring, easy, power creep way but it is going to be a budget run so we're not going to we're not going to use like you know op units or anything okay so we're going to start um with sheraton and we're going to go around the list and we're going to use like the same team for all of these for the most part assuming it works i didn't actually do a test run so this is just you know i'm assuming this is going to work for all missions if it doesn't we'll adjust so here's sheraton um we'll get to the missions in a second let me go ahead and explain where we're going first okay so first of all Ignore the bottom row. The bottom row we're not going to use. I'm just using that for my personal um, limit first leveling experience. This is going to give a lot of LB experience to all 10 units. So I'm using the bottom row to just level up the LBs of some units I need to level their LBs on. We're not going to use them. We're not even going to use the party swap mechanic. Completely ignore the bottom row. Pretend like they're not even there. We're going to use the top row team. Um, so this is these are old school bosses. These are from like the original year of the first year of the game. They're very, very, very power crept. Almost all of them, or probably all of them, are going to die um, or going to get hit point locked every single turn because this is old school. This is where bosses had like five hit point locks per battle. Um, also, they had you know a lot of old school mechanics where they go Im immune to physical, immune to magical. So we're going to use hybrid damage dealers to just make it simpler. Um, you could bring a mage, you could bring a physical unit as well, and then use them depending on the phase the boss is in. But hybrid damage dealers can always damage the boss on every phase. So we're going to use Elena and Starlight Elena just for the convenience factor. Um, we're going to use Shoreline Fina and Daisy as our tank. They're going to be the provoker, they're going to cover, they can do mitigation and all that. Um, if you don't have Shoreline Fina and Daisy, any provoker is fine. But you want them passive provoke for some of the boss mechanics that we're going to be dealing with during the fight. We're going to use Rem as our healer. Now the reason we're using Rem is because she can dispel our own team. Uh, some of these bosses put imbues on your team that they, they absorb the element of. So if you're using physical or hybrid damage dealers like we are, the imbues can really mess you up. So Rem can dispel those imbues to get rid of them to make it nice and easy for the party. Another unit that can do that is the old Luna Freya. White Dragon Ling can do that. Um, if you've got Edward and Elric, they can, re they can remove imbues as well. Or you could use mages, you know, that works too. But for us, we need, we need a way to get rid of the imbues, so we're going to use Rem. And then Gilgamesh, Breaker. That's it. Any breaker you want is fine. So I'll go ahead and show the team real quick. Again, this is a budget team. We're not using STMR as you could if you want to, but this is so power crept, you really don't need to. Okay, so we do want death immunity. Some of these bosses do death. So we're going to get Genji Shield and Passive Provoke on Phasey. Um, status immunity and both forms are geared pretty much the same. Here's her setup. Her shift form is geared the same. And she's also going to help break every now and then because... Um, we're using Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is a single target breaker, not an AoE breaker. So sometimes we need to break two targets, so Phasey can be a backup breaker as well. Uh, Rem, like I mentioned, um, she can do uh, this skill, uh, Leave It To Me, which removes all buffs on your team. I should also mention the whole team is using Auto Shell and Auto Protect. Just for the extra mitigation, it might not even be needed. Like I said, this is so power crept, maybe it's irrelevant, but it, does, it doesn't hurt to be safe. Anyway, there's her setup. Now, some of the bosses have a mission to kill with magic. 
Um, so we're going to use Ultima because it's a slow casting skill. You could also use Holy. You could use Alterna from the Ring of the Lucy. Uh, but we're going to give Rem Ultima so she can cast that to um, tag the boss with magic as they die. Also, she can do Mana Regen. Some of these bosses is Mana Drain, and she can refill mana with, with her LB Crystals. Um, Gilgamesh, we're not even using the base form. Shift form, just a little bit of Mana Regen. He's going to um, be the Breaker and Imperil, and that's it. And then the DPS. Now, for the most part, we're going to stay non-elemental because instead of worrying about what boss has what resistance, I'm pretty sure non-elemental works on everything. It's weaker than using the proper element, but like I said, these bosses are so power prepped, it doesn't even matter. So this is her setup. Um, we are using auto buffing, you know, light blessing and wisdom of just for the auto buffing. Not really required, but there we go. We're going to use the shift form Lena for some Esper fill gear because some of these bosses have missions to summon like multiple Espers. This is just going to speed it up. If you don't have the Esper fill gear, you can bring like an Evoker. You can just you know use less Esper gear and take more turns. But to speed up the video, we're going to use her shift form for those Esper missions. And yeah, there we go. And then um, Starlight Elena, just again, just some generic cheap gear, auto buffing, etc. We're not even worried about killers. And for the Espers, we've got Bayonet and Diablos equipped, um, and Rem can cross some of those to, for the kill with Esper missions. Okay, so for the missions on Sheraton, let's go back to this. 20 turns, very easy. S defeat with an Esper. That means you got to tag the boss while it's dying with an Esper. So we'll do that with Rem. And then deal Earth and Dark damage. So okay, so for the Earth and Dark damage, we'll use Gilgamesh. We're going to give him an Earth weapon and a Dark weapon. So let's give him an Earth weapon. Doesn't really matter what. The bell is fine. Let's give him a Dark weapon. So any Dark weapon, Claws of Darkness. There we go. So we're going to hit the boss with both of these and deal Earth and Dark damage. And that's going to give us the mission. Now we're going to start Elena in the shift form. That's wearing the Esper fill stuff. And let's go in. So again, th these are very, very power corrupt. They're going to they're gonna be killed like... Or they're going to be pushed to their hit point threshold locks pretty much every single turn. Alright. So there we go. So let's go ahead and put Elena back. This boss does have um, a threshold lock at 50%. Let's see, we're going to use Gilgamesh to imperil. Um, we'll break the boss and just whatever. That deals the earth and dark damage. Elena will use uh, Gemini three times. We'll use other Elena and then just bolting three times. And this is probably going to, um, like, see, yeah, the boss instantly goes to the hit point lock. There we go. All right, I shouldn't have even changed that much. All right, let's go ahead and just cover. What is guard rem? Doesn't really matter. Now he's going to summon some ads and phase change. Yeah, the bosses were really cool back in the day. This was this was so cool. Like the first time I ever saw these bosses like phase change, I was like, this is amazing. And some attacks. I mean, this this is this is this is five year old content. It's not going to do any damage. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to use Elena to AOE bolting just to kill the little pumpkin things and okay so we're gonna do this we're gonna summon a slow hitting esper now the boss is immune to dark damage by a hundred percent but we imperil dark so diablos will work if you did not imperil dark element diablos will not give you credit so make sure you deal you imperil dark before doing this anyway we're gonna go ahead and summon diablos wait just a second then we'll go ahead and kill the boss. She's going to die instantly, but Diablos is still summoning. And it'll eventually, somewhere in here, Diablos will tag the boss after it's technically dead. And there's Diablos. Diablos is so slow. I love it. And that gave credit for kill with an Esper. Okay, so we did all missions. 20 turns or less. We, summoned an es we killed with an Esper, and we did dark and earth damage. So there was Sheraton, and they're going to all be very easy, but they will get slightly tiny specs harder the, the, the further around the circle we go. Alright, so there was Sheraton. Let's move along to the next one, which is Elnath. Okay, so this is, this is one of the ones that you really want to do, because this has one of the good materials. Man Eater Plus. Defeat, so defeat with magic, deal lightning, light, and dark, and within 30 turns. 
All right, so lightning, light, and dark. We got to summon an Esper, so we'll still stay in that form. Lightning, light, and dark. Okay, so we got dark there. Let's go with lightning. Actually, let's go with light with you, and we can do lightning with Rem. So here we go. Lightning, so light and dark, and then Rem will do lightning, and we'll kill with an Esper. Okay, let's go ahead and get... get uh, Wait, was it kill with an Esper or summon with an Esper? I already forgot. Oh, defeat with magic. Okay, that's fine. So actually, we don't even need to do an Esper. So nothing with Espers? Nothing with Espers. Okay. No Espers, no problem. So we need to do a lightning damage. So lightning damage, done. Gilgamesh will break and imperil. That also um, deals the rest of the elemental damage needed. We'll uh, shift and <laughs> yeah, we already pushed the threshold. The boss is hit point locked, as you can see. So the threshold has already been pushed. There we go. So we'll use Phasey to just cover and um, this. So this one is special. To do the mission, you've got to kill the left arm first, or kill both arms at the same time for this phase. So either kill the left arm. Wait for this to finish. All right, so here is the left arm. This has got to die first or kill both at the same time. If you kill the right arm and not the left arm, the boss will, um, you can't do the last mission. Okay, so anyway, we're going to, we'll just use, like I said, this is so power crap. We'll just kill both arms at the same time. There we go, both arms dead. Uh, the boss is still hit point locked. We'll just guard you. We'll just guard you. We'll just repeat you. We'll just repeat you. Okay, now the boss is going to go into the next phase and remove the immunities. And some attacks will happen. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. Okay, so we need to kill the boss with magic. So let's go ahead and chain Bolting Strike and Bolting Strike. And we're going to use um, Ultima to kill with magic. So we're going to go ahead and start Ultima. And then just hit the boss with Bolting Strike. It's going to die. Oh, it's it th Threshold Locked. Okay, so we have more Thresholds. Not a problem. Not a problem. We'll just, um, we'll go ahead and just repeat this. Yeah, like I said, this, this is old school. A, ho a whole bunch of Thresholds all over the place. But it, it, it's, it's so old, it does, like, no damage. Oh my god, the counter. I forgot about the counter attacks on... That might mess up in it. Oh. Anyway, there's Ultima. Go ahead and finish off the boss. Boom. Boss dead. And Ultima comes and hits the boss at the end somewhere in here. There's Ultima. Kill with magic complete. Okay, so we did all missions on Elnath and got the Man Eater Plus Materia, which is one of the most valuable items in the entire Chamber of Arms, is the Man Eater Plus. Yeah, that would be the one that people are going to be really sad about missing if they somehow didn't do that. Well, then again, if after five years you haven't done the Chamber of Arms and you, you're you probably not gonna all of a sudden miss the Man Eater Plus because you haven't had it for five years. But hopefully this this uh, helps you guys go in here and get it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next is gonna be Alhina. Um, let's go ahead and look, look at the missions. I, I, I forgot all of these. Uh, use five or more limit first. Oh, this is going to be one of those irritating ones. Oh my god. Defeat with an Esper within 30 turns. Okay, we might just, like, not do five LBs and say we did. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're, we're not going to sit here and, and do five limit first. Because that's just going to slow the video down while I sit here and refill LBs for, for five turns. Yeah, bring someone that doesn't deal damage with their LB, like, um, I don't know, Cetra Aerith's base form, and just do that five turns in a row to do the mission. So, we're gonna pretend like we did all missions, but we, we really didn't. Um, okay, so Gilgamesh will just, you know, do the usual thing. Uh, oh god, I think I already pushed the threshold. Um, we gotta kill with an Esper, and I don't know... If this is a threshold or not, anyway, let's go ahead and okay, that was a threshold apparently. So we'll just we'll, we'll just keep Elena in the Esper form, and the boss is gonna change forms. All right, 
some attacks. Whatever. All right, so the Esper fill gear should should refill us here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just do that again. We'll just um, we'll do Diablos. We'll wait. We'll go ahead and kill the boss with unchained damage. And Diablos kill with Esper complete. Boom. So we didn't do five on the first. Uh, you know, I, I just didn't want to sit here for this video. This video is already going to be very, very long. I, I, I know that right now. So, yeah. Bring someone with a non-damaging LB and like bring an Entruster or something. Or bring like Ignis to fill LB with bean soup. And just use five LBs before killing the boss. Alright. Next up is going to be... Let's see here. We've got... Uh, Tegmine. This was actually one of the really hard bosses back in the day. This is one of the harder ones. It's not going to be hard right now, but um, yeah. Uh, deal ice, lightning, wind, and earth damage. Defeat with an LB within 30 turns. Alright, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? Okay, so th this, is, this is really cheating. You know, shame on me, but we're going to just... Oops. We're going to just summer whip this. Summer Whip, and we will, uh, let's see, real quick, we'll stick him on a Umbrella for Esper. Alright, so we're going to deal Summer Whip to deal the elemental damage, um, so I don't got to swap gear every single fight. Uh, yeah, for the elemental mission, just give your give your units, like your support units, some elemental weapons to, de to deal all the required missions, or all the required elements. All right, so so there was the ambush death. You saw it tried to kill Phazy. That's why. All right, that's why our tank is using death immunity. All right, so we're gonna use Gilgamesh to um, break, uh, imperil, and then whatever. Uh, all right, I forgot the missions again. Kill with the limit first. All right, so we'll use. Let's see, Elena. We'll fill her LB, we'll shift you, and we'll use you to push the threshold. Alright, let's go ahead and push that threshold here. First threshold pushed. Phazy can just cover and provoke. And Rem can just guard here. Alright, so we gotta do elemental damage. We'll do that with Gilgamesh this turn. Because the boss is phase changing. I actually can't remember if um, there's there's another hit point lock or not. I don't actually know. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and Rainbow Whip to do all the elemental missions. Uh, the boss is absorbing, whatever. Alright, let's... Let's see. Let's use you to Salvation. We're going to Elena. And... I'm not sure if this is going to be a threshold or not. Oh, it's a hit point lock. Of course. Of course it is. Alright, so we're going to have to use Phazy to fill LB gauge. Yeah, I, I, I just don't remember what these bosses have hit point locks or not. It's been so long. Okay, so phase change again. We'll just use Gilgamesh or Rem to um, do the hit point lock. There's a death, but our tank is immune. Alright, let's see. Elena... We'll just bolting, we'll just bolting, and we'll just LB with you. So LB and bolting. I think that worked. It should have. And kill with an LB, complete. Okay. All missions that time. So that one has two hit point locks, so the third one. Yeah, so so if you're watching the video, you know, you, you can you can learn from my mistakes. I, I'm, I'm using like the Espers and the LBs on the wrong turn. I, I, I just forgot what has hit point locks and, and when. So anyway, there was all missions for Tegmine, which is one of the cooler fights back in the day. I, 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 I do miss that fight. All right, next is Out of Fear. I, I think this is one of the cooler sprites you'll see in a second. This is like this is like the, the big, big werewolf guy. All right, defeat with magic, two or more espers, 30 turns. All right, we're going to go ahead and go in with this. 
All right, so this one ambushes with like a really powerful attack. It usually one-shots your tank. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really powerful attack. It even one-shot Phasey. Uh, but she's using... She's using um, she has guts. All right, so the threshold... Uh, what was the... Oh, I always forget the missions. Okay, so two or more espers. Um, the boss has buffs from the ambush. So we're going to use Rem to dual cast. We're going to dispel... From Carbuncle. Uh, let's go ahead and cure Asia and thus dispel. Where's dispel? Dispel the buffs away. Alright, we need to summon an Esper, so we'll go ahead and do that. Esper done. Gilgamesh will break. Let's see, let's imperil. And, well, whatever, doesn't matter. Break, break. Phasey will cover. Oh, Phasey's not covering, actually. I did this wrong. Oh, I pushed the threshold, too. Yeah, I'm so bad at this. Uh, okay, so that's, that's fine. That's fine. So threshold, I forgot what the threshold does. I don't know. We'll find out in a second, I guess. I think this one imbues you when he goes into a threshold. I don't remember. We'll see. All right, let's see here. Um, are we imbued? We are not imbued. All right, what were the missions again? Kill with magic, summon two espers. Alright. So, two espers. Esper done. Um, kill with magic. So, we will kill with Ultima. Alright. And then we will just chain it up. And... So, we did all missions again. Oh, we gotta shift you. And... There we go. Um, so, Ultima. And then kill the boss with chaining. Yep, there we go. And Ultima comes in at the end. We summon two Espers, and Ultima is somewhere in there. There it is, Ultima. Boom, done. Okay. All missions on all defeaters. Yeah, so make sure your tank is passive provoking for the ambush and um, has guts. I think Mirage actually works as well, potentially. Um, Auto Mirage, if you have gear for that. And yeah, you see, see all this uh, these uh, limit bursts being leveled. This is the reason I'm bringing the the second party slot. Level up those LBs for me. Okay, so who was next on the list? We've got uh, Vindemiatrix. This is like this is the one like the little adventuring party. I think this was a cool one too. All right, thirty turns. Evoke Golem. No limit burst. All right, evoke Golem. Um, that's fine. We'll just stick Golem on you. Okay, let's do it this way. Let me actually swap this out. I'm going to give her Summer Whip. Because cause Gilgamesh is usually busy breaking. And Gilgamesh will go to Galoof's sword instead. There we go. Just a small change. Alright, so we got to evoke Golem. Oh, I forgot the missions again. I'm so bad at this. Alright, so the missions were... No limits. That's very easy. Okay, so no limits. Alright, so this guy, or these people, um, alternate between physical and magical immunity, but we're going to be uh, not caring. Alright, Golem, done. We'll put you on Provoke and Mitigate. Gilgamesh will put you back to um, Imperil and Break, Break. Uh, and then Elena can... Oh, shift. And we'll just bolt in. And we'll just bolt in. And this one, if I remember correctly, has like a ton of thresholds. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a longer fight, but that's okay. Not a problem. Alright, I probably shouldn't try to overkill that much. I'm I'm just gonna single single cast a uh, a bolting per turn. They do some attacks, as you can see, ancient ancient content. Can't hurt. All right, let's put Elena to just one bolting. Should be all we need. Yeah, that's all we need. Uh, repeat you, guard you, repeat you. It's fine. Okay. And the boss again just keeps changing between um, between their their phases. Do all this, and um, we'll just put Rem on Monalchemy. 
to keep our LB or our mana going. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm being lazy with Phazy and just repeating her every turn. Alright. Oh, Elena is asleep. She's not status immune. Um, okay, so we'll just keep we'll just healing prayer with Rem. Uh yeah, I apparently didn't give Elena status immunity. Doesn't matter. Alright, next threshold. Okay. 60%. And if 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 you watch the sprite, e each threshold we're killing off one of one of the adventuring party members. Like it's it's so hateful. Like you know, it started off with a full party, and now we've got like five gravestones because each, each each threshold we were killing someone in the, in the adventuring party. It's horrible. We're the bad guys in this one. <laughs> All right, and then finally we've killed the whole party. Now they come back from the from the grave as an undead. Like we're angry at you for killing us. And oh my God, uh oh. No, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, we counterattacked and killed. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, bringing Elena may have not been the best idea because of counterattacks. Um, that didn't matter that time, but it it very well could potentially make us fail a mission. And I should adjust the team, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, give me that LB experience. Yeah, boy. Okay, next up is going to be... Someone. I don't know. I think Brachium is next. Yes, Brachium is next. This one was interesting. This is like the assassin. Alright, missions. Three or more espers. Kill with an esper. 30 turns less. Okay, so this is one where you have to um, deal with bad imbues on your party. So the boss... Im yeah, I remember this one. The boss imbues your party on the last threshold. Also, he absorbs darkness, so you can't use the Diablos for... Um, for this all right so the boss puts up um there there's death that death can't can't be resisted so yeah so we're gonna use rem to um to deal with that all right so rem is going to dual cast we'll go ahead and get our tank back up who is passive provoking um apparently rem can't do good rays what and we'll do dispel on the boss to get rid of the boss's mirage all right we'll just break the boss here um, we'll summon an Esper, and we'll discard. We gotta summon three Espers. Alright. Yeah, the boss deals very low damage, so if, if it's not like a guaranteed death, you're probably fine. Uh, the boss is miraging again, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and summon an Esper again. We'll, uh... We'll just do this. We'll just do this. Um, oh, we gotta stay here. What am I doing? Oh, I did this wrong. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll start pushing thresholds next turn. Um, we'll just repeat this. Alright, so we summoned two espers. Now we gotta kill with an esper as well. So let's go ahead and get to the next phase. That and that assassin anticipation means the boss is going to kill someone this turn. We're going to go ahead and push the threshold anyway. Oh, this is not the last threshold. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and guard you. We'll have Phazy put up re-raise, I guess. Rem can just heal. Gilgamesh can repeat. Alright. The boss is probably going to kill Phaser here, I think. Oh, he didn't. Okay, interesting. Um, well, whatever. Uh, the boss put up buffs. I guess we'll use Rem to get rid of the buffs. So we'll dual cast. We will dispel the boss's buffs. We'll Curagea. Um, go ahead and rebuff the boss. The boss still has threshold, so we're not done threshold yet. So we'll guard you, and we'll just heal up you. All right. Now this is the threshold where the boss is going to imbue us with bad elements, so we need to dispel our own team. All right. And we got we got slept as well. All right. So Rem is going to dual cast or triple. 
We're going to leave it to me to dispel the imbue off our team, and then we'll healing prayer um, twice. Yeah, we got imbue with something. Uh, adds dark element. Yeah, we don't we don't want that. So we healed the team. We're good there. Um, the boss is still broken. All right, so we got to kill the boss with an Esper. We can't use a dark Esper though. All right, we'll use we we'll use Mega Flare, and Elena will just solo kill the boss because the boss is so old. All right, so we're gonna summon Bamit and then kill the boss. And Bamit somewhere in here. Um, there's Bamit. Killed with an Esper, complete. That was also our third Esper, so we're done with Espers. Yeah, but remember, it was very important to dispel your team to get rid of that imbue, or you would have healed the boss. Yeah, the boss on that last threshold imbues your party with a bad element. But we did all missions. Um, you know, just bring, make, make sure you bring someone to revive your tank for the uh, the auto kill that the boss does. All right, next up is going to be um, Shala. Is this the butterfly? I, th I think I think, I think this is the butterfly boss. All right, evoke Tetra five or more LBs, thirty turns. Again, we're not we're not gonna do five LBs. We're we're, we're not. We're just not. So pretend like we did five LBs. But we are gonna evoke Tetra. All right. So I think I think the thing this is the butterfly. It is. It is the butterfly sisters. All right. There's an ambush. Hits the tank. Not not too bad. It's fine. All right. So evoke Tetra is done. Let's go ahead and break the boss. Um. All right. So. Again, this is probably going to push the threshold right away. It didn't. It's probably immune to non-elemental. It probably immune to not let, let, Let's try water element. Yeah, as you can see, I haven't done the boss in a while. Wait, not that. All right, let's imbue water and. Let's see if water works. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so this one is immune to non-elemental, but water apparently works. So, that's fine. All right. Phase change. And this is why I called her the butterfly. The butterfly sister. All right, uh, this is three body parts. Um, we don't need to kill with an Esper or anything. Okay, so let's imbue Earth Element. Uh, and then just whatever. All right, so we imbued Earth. That should be good. And let's go ahead and use Star Supernova and see if this kills everything. Yeah, okay. So we're good. So just don't use non-elemental on this boss, and you're fine. Just imbue, imbue something. Anything, I guess. And there we go. We did all... Uh, we didn't do five LBs once again. Just, you know, stall in the beginning with, with non-offensive LBs to get that done. So many Limit Burst levelings. Okay. Uh, we're getting close to the end. I think we've got like three more to go. Um, Nun Key. All right, Nun Key. Is this the is this the, the 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 dragon boss? I think it is. Okay, deal. Lots of elements. Kill with an LB. Thirty turns. All right, it should be fine. So we're gonna use um, Rainbow Whip to deal the elemental damage. Yeah. Oh, this boss. This boss has the 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 best sprite in the entire in the entire Chamber of Arms. Um. Her second form. You'll see it. You'll see it real soon. All right. Rainbow Whip. All elements done. Um, Gilgamesh. Let's break. Um, Elena. Let's just Gemini. All right. Uh, all right. Kill with an LB. All right. Let's use Wave of the Aurora. That'll fill her LB to maximum. Oh, I imbued with Earth. I didn't mean to do that. 
I think that's. I think Earth is actually bad. I'm gonna go ahead and dispel my party. I didn't mean to imbue. I had I had Phasey on reload from the last fight. Oh, Earth is working. Earth is actually working. So okay. You know we're still gonna we're still gonna dispel the party anyway. Cause I don't I don't want to I don't want to use an element. All right, let's go ahead and dispel the party. Let's put Phasey on not imbuing. All right, party dispelled. Guard you. All right. And yeah, this boss as well, by the way, is is going through thresholds where she's like some some thresholds she's immune to physical, some she's immune to magic, but hybrid just ignores all that. So we're good. And I think the I think the counterattack pushed the threshold again. Okay, so I think I think this is the final threshold now. Yeah, this is this sprite is so cool. I love it. I love the sprite. Awesome, super awesome. Okay, mission is to kill with an LB. So this should just pop it right here by herself. Oh, we got a threshold again. We got a threshold again. Okay. Uh, Elena, in that case, will Stella Marie to fill her LB, and we'll just repeat all the rest. Alright. I think the boss is miraging right now. It's hard. I think I think the boss has a mirage. Let me... Let me try to get... Yeah, the boss had Mirage. Okay, so Mirage is gone now. So kill with an LB. We'll do it with this Elena. Got it. Okay. So all missions on that one. Poor Nunky. You are the coolest looking dragon in the game. Alright. See who's next. Uh, Dobby, Dobby. I forgot how Dobby works. Three espers, deal a bunch of elements, and kill with magic. All right. Once I actually get in the fight, I'll probably remember how it works. Alright, so we gotta summon a bunch of espers. It's always irritating. Oh yeah, this guy. Alright, um... Actually... Here, we'll do this. Let's have you... Okay, so we're gonna kill this one with single target. Elena... Oh, Elena should stay in this shift form, shouldn't she? Shouldn't should this form. Alright, we'll do this. Dobby, if I remember correctly, doesn't actually do anything in this phase. Just his, just his little disciples do. So we're gonna break this one. And we're gonna guard Elena so we can summon Espers. We're, we're gonna stay in this phase for a moment while we summon Espers. Alright, let's go ahead and summon a second Esper. Let's kill this one. Alright, done. And we're not going to push the threshold yet. We're, we're going to leave him be so we can summon a third Esper. And then, then we're going to push the threshold. Alright, so third Esper, done. What are the missions again? Kill with magic. Alright, easy. Esper done. All right. Oh, we didn't. Oh, I didn't actually break the boss. That's why. All right, whatever. So, boss is now broken. Now we can push the next threshold. Okay, done. Uh, so now the boss. I think he think he summons his helpers again. Yeah, I think we have to kill. The helpers. Are we imbued? 
I haven't done this fight in forever. Um, we are imbued, which is probably a bad thing. So we're going to dispel the imbue with Rem. Let's see. Let's dispel the imbue and let's heal. I was going to put a mitigation because they actually dealt a little bit of damage here. It kind of hurts. All right. So. I don't, I don't remember who's supposed to die first. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Alright, he's dead. Let's change target to this guy. Alright, so they're both dead. Um, what were the missions again? Kill with magic? Alright, so we're gonna actually... We're gonna wait so we can kill with magic with the rim. Alright. Oh, I think he imbued us again. I, th I think we got imbued again. I think. We'll check. He did imbue us. Ooh. Uh, so we gotta dispel that imbue again, actually. So we actually can't use Rem to finish the fight yet. So we have to wait. He, 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 he does not imbue every turn. So... All right, here we go. We're not in view of this turn. Okay, so, so, so now we can use Rem. Yes, yeah, so, so he, he didn't in view, so we can use Gemini, Blade of Salvation, and we can use Ultima on Rem for the mission. Okay, so Ultima, kill the boss, and Kill with magic, all missions. Okay, so it took a few turns, not a problem though, because that imbue, that imbue is a little bit of a headache. Yeah, like I mentioned, some of these bosses get really, really irritated with those offensive imbues that they absorb. So, we're dealing with it. All right, let's move along to the next. I think the next one is Saddle Sued, the bird. Um, how, how are we gonna deal with that? That one imbues too, and I don't wanna deal with that, ooh. All right, we'll figure it out. All right, let's see here. Yes, yeah, saddle suit. All right. Um, elemental damage, thirty turns, defeat all of the wings with an LB. That should be easy enough. All right. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Alright, this one has multiple thresholds, so it, it, if I remember correctly, it's it has one threshold in the beginning, and then it has another one. Let's break. Alright, is Elena's base form LB AoE? All enemies, outstanding. Alright, so we're gonna go and wave the Aurora. We're gonna use you to push the first threshold. All right, Phasey, we'll cover and mitigate. Um, missions, yeah, we don't wanna do elemental damage yet because the boss goes immune. We're gonna, go, we're gonna do elemental damage on the next threshold. All right, I believe that was a death attack on Phasey, but she's immune, if I remember correctly. All right, now we're gonna use Rainbow Whip to do this. Okay. Um, Salvation, and we'll do Stella Marie for this. Um, he's gonna just repeat. Okay, so we gotta kill the wings with um, with LB. All right, I don't think the any of the wings absorb earth oh one does i think okay i don't think any absorb holy though all right we're gonna imbue the party with holy with 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 her and then we're gonna do we're gonna kill with lb right here and this should kill all the wings with the limb first Oh my god, one's absorbing holy.
Alright, well... Why did I... I, I... I failed a mission. Okay. That was a red wing. Why, why is it a red wing? Oh, we're imbued with fire! I should have dispelled the... I should have dispelled the team first. I should have dispelled the team first. Okay, so when you do that, dispel the team before you imb you do the LB. All right, I'm not gonna run that again because this video is really really long. Um, okay, so 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 anyway, lesson learned. So after the second threshold, use Rem to dispel the team, then imbue Holy with Phasey, then do the LB. Okay. So, anyway, we're learning, we're learning. I, I haven't done these fights in, like, five years. <laughs> so, Alfred, Alfred is pretty easy. Okay, so, lots of elements. Evoke Ramu and Titan. Easy. So, Ramu and Titan. Titan. Ramu. Okay. Knock out this. So we're going to, so for the, for the elemental damage, we'll use Rem to Rainbow Whip right away on turn one. That's, and she's dual wielding, so that does all the elemental damage twice. Uh, we can cover and mitigate. Gilgamesh can Excalibur. We need to summon Titan. And we need to go ahead and push the first threshold here. Nice and easy. Okay, so we just gotta summon Ramu, and then we're done with the missions. Oh yeah, this boss counterattacks. I forgot about that. Oh well, doesn't really matter. As long as you break the boss. Okay. Some attacks, we're good. Alright, we need to summon Ramu now. So let's summon. Oh, we cannot summon Ramu. Um, there's another threshold anyway, so we'll go ahead and just push this real quick. There it is. All right, Ramu summon done. All right, Phasey will heal, and let's go ahead and re-raise just in case. Let's guard you, and let's put up general mitigation with you. So we have some more survival here. Okay. And we did all missions. Um, Rainbow Whip, Ramo and Titan, yeah. Okay. And... Oh, we're stopped. Yeah, okay, so uh, I gave Ram immunity to everything, so she can do this. So, leave it to me is an AoE to spell. That gets rid of stop. Okay, so the boss stops, you know. So, have a plan for stop. And, apparently we have more thresholds. This is awesome. Okay, Gilgamesh will break. And Phasey will cover. And we will mitigate. We have lots of, lots of thresholds. Oh, the counterattacks. Oh my god. So many thresholds. Ah, there we go. No problem. Okay, let's just kill, kill it up here. And there it is. Alferg is handled. So for that one, the, the tricky one is he does the stop on like, was that the second or the third? There's so many thresholds. Second or third threshold, he did AoE stop. Our Rem was immune, so we used her to um, AoE dispel the party to get rid of the stop. You could also bring stop immunity buff if you don't have a super ribbon to make Rem immune. Um, Lakshmi can buff stop immunity as well. All right, next up, we're gonna go to uh, Warden Welter, the final boss. This one is the, after you kill all 12, this one um, appears in the middle. Uh, let's improve your strength. All right, and this is the final boss. This is one gives you Grand Star. All right, um, 20 turns, evoke Diablos and Anima, and kill with Bayonet. All right, a lot of headache. So, evoke Diablos and 
anima. Alright, evoke Diablos and anima, and kill with Bayomet. Easy enough. And this one imbues you as well later in the fight, so we're going to need Rem to handle the handle the imbue removal. Uh, he absorbs Holy and Dark, too. Alright, um... Alright, one Esper down. Uh, cover, mitigate, let's see. Break. Um, we'll just guard, and... Yeah, we'll just chill for now. We're just waiting. Oh yeah, this one counterattacks too. Alright, and you're supposed to like react what the boss is doing, but I don't really care because his counterattacks, if you don't react, or like whatever. Alright, so those are done. Now we just need to kill with Bayomet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just Gemini Blade you. Alright, first threshold done. Um, guard, repeat, whatever. So now we need to kill with. Oh my god. Um. Okay, so the, so the counterattacks can 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 hurt a little bit, a little bit, a little, little painful, a little bit. I guess you can use a physical tank if you really need to. All right, let's go ahead and just push the next threshold, and we might lose uh, Elena here to counterattacks. I guess it's possible. Um, just guard you. Guard you, and let's go ahead and uh, let's get. Can't she raise with triple? Nope, guess she can't. All right, let's do let's dual cast. Let's go ahead and raise the dead, and let's re-raise Elena because she might get destroyed with counterattacks here. I guess we'll find out in a second. Oh my God, she's so much bulkier than Starlight Elena. Okay. Uh, phase change. Oh, there goes Starlight Elena. Poor Starlight. Okay, um, let's break the boss. Uh, let's have Phasey get Starlight Elena back up. And I guess. AoE re-raise. Uh, let's go ahead and push another the threshold. And Rem. Let's do... Let's see. It's triple. Let's healing. Healing. And let's mitigate. To hopefully deal with those counterattacks. Okay. That was fine. Yeah, the problem is we're not really using like, a lot of mitigation. Alright, so this, uh, if I remember correctly, is like some, yeah, this is a turn of damage immunity, so you can't, you can't hurt the boss here, so don't, like, waste your time trying to kill the boss this turn, you can't. We'll do this. Um, I think we got this, we got imbued with a bad element. No, we didn't. No, we're fine. Let's do that. Um, we'll just cure Aja. All right, so we can we can kill the boss next turn, I believe. All right, I don't remember if this is the threshold or not. All right, let's go ahead and or the, the, there's any more threshold. So we need to kill with Bayomet. So let's kill with Bayomet. Let's summon Bayomet. Push the threshold, and okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. And kill with Bayomet, boom, all missions. So that, that was the last threshold. Just make sure you don't try to kill him during that immunity phase, where um, after the, sec was the second or third threshold, he goes immune for a turn. When you see Gravestone Refusal, that's the one turn of damage immunity. So don't, don't try to kill on that turn. But there it is. There is a quick run through. How long is this video? Shouldn't be that long, huh? Oh, less than an hour. Yeah, okay. So you, you can do the whole thing in less than an hour um, and get all of the Chamber of Arms complete.
Now, most of the gear is pretty outdated, to be fair, but uh, there's a few good things in there, like um, Twin Repellent has some, you know, a rarish killer. Uh, then the also the, um, like the Maneater Plus. The Grand Star is useful. Anyway, get Chamber of Arms done. See you guys next time.